Okay, finals review. Um, ten problems. How many answers does this equation have? It's got two. And we identify what meth we're going to be using. Now, I know I got the x to the second. There's a one. You also got an x that's here that's not to the second. So you got to go with set boxes. Okay, so the zero means you're set. And then you count how many terms you have. So you make your boxes. You got three, so it's GCFT. doesn't say fail so remember the three things we check for the negative the X and the GCF okay so we don't need the negative because the one X we got X the second X first I do not have an X on that 10 so we don't need X Okay, then I punch in 1, 3, and 10. I think by now you know that's just going to be 1 because when one's one of the numbers I punch in, it always comes up as 1. Okay, so if it's just a 1 without a negative or an X, we get rid of that. So I go A, B, C, and I multiply my A by my C. So I take positive 1 times negative 10. It's negative 10. So... 10 with the negative up above, so the negative means it's going to be a minus, and we're trying to get to 3, which has a plus sign. So 1 and 10, nope. 2 and 5, okay. 5 minus 2 is 3, so we got it. 3 is plus, so plus 5. And we got a negative up there, so the signs have to be the opposite, okay. So plus 5 minus 2. Now, when I rewrite this, i got to keep my eye peeled on the A. My A is 1x to the second. So when I make my parentheses, I go 1x and 1x. And then minus 2 plus 5. Okay, 1 and 2 on this calculator is just going to give me 1. So I divide by 1, and that stays the same, 1x minus 2. 1 and 5... It's going to give me 1, so that's 1x plus 5. It's going to stay the same because you're just dividing by 1. Now, I didn't put anything right there. If I do, I need to drop it down. So I put F1 because there's an x, F2, there's an x equals 0, and then I set each of my factors equal to x. F stands for factor. 1x minus 2 is 0, 1x plus 5 equals 0. So dot your x and circle it, and then plus 2, plus 2. So 1 dot x equals 2. Then dividing by 1 is kind of silly because it would just be 2, but I'll do it. Then minus 5. Now if I have 0 and take away 5, that's negative 5. Then I divide by 1, and we're still at negative 5. So those are my two solutions, 2 and negative 5. Okay, number two, it's got two answers. Now I also have this x that is not to the second, so I have to set and do the boxes. Okay, again, so you're set, and you got three terms, three. Okay. Okay, so three terms is GCFT. So those are the boxes I make. Okay, and then I check for the negative, the X, and the GCF. Well, I don't need the negative because the 2 is positive. I have X second on this term, X first on the 3, and then no X at all there, so I don't do X. Then 2, 3, and 20. I just got a 1, so if the GCF's 1 without a negative, without an X, we delete that. A, B, and C. So I take positive 2 times negative 20. I got negative 40. So I got a negative, so since I got a negative, it's a minus. Now I'm trying to get to 3. 3 has a plus in front of it again. 
So 1 and 40, 40 minus 1 is not 3. Now I take 40 and divide it by 2. That's 20. But I don't think 20 minus 2 is 3. And I hit up, decimal, now go to 4, 4 and 10. Now 10 minus 4 is 6, not 3. I haven't got the 3 yet. Then I go 40 divided by 5, and that's 8. 8 minus 5 is 3, so I have it. We got plus 3, so plus 8. The negative in front means the signs are the opposite. Okay. So A is 2x to the second, so when I make these parentheses to start with, I go 2x plus 5, and then 2x plus 8. Okay, 2 and 5. GCF's 1, so I just divide by 1, which means it stays the same. 2x plus 5. 2 and 8. I got 2. So I divide by 2, and that becomes 1x plus 4. Remember, cross out those top two. I didn't do any put anything here, so F1, F2. So I have 2x plus 5, that could equal 0. Or I could write the factor 1x plus 4 could equal 0. So I dot my 2, circle it, and then I minus 5. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. And then divide by 2. And negative 5 divided by 2 is negative 2.5. Okay, then I minus 4, and that's negative 4, divide by 1, and that would still be negative 4. Okay, and those are the two answers. Okay. Next problem, negative 12x to the second power minus 3x equals 0. So there's two answers. Okay, so I also have an x that isn't to the second, so it's got to be set with boxes. And you're set. Now this time there are only two terms, so with two terms I go GCF, then I see if we have a DOPS. Remember DOPS, the two parentheses with one plus and 1 minus, which I'll get to here in a second. So negative x GCF. So I'm going to need the negative because the very first number is negative. Okay. I also have a negative here and under the lines. Okay. So I know I'm going to have to do something there. x, I have x second and x to the 1. So both of them have x. So I use x to the 1. Okay. And then three, 12 and 3. I got 3 as my GCF. Okay. So with the negative, I put 3x to the first, and then I put it on both of these here. Got to be both of them, not just one of them. So negative 12 divided by negative 3 is 4. And on x, we take 2 minus 1, which is 1. Then I take negative 3 divided by negative 3. That's 1, so it's positive, so it's plus 1. And then the 1 and the 1 on the x's means I don't have an x because they're the same. Okay. Now, Dops, do you have x to the second power there? And by the way, when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about within that second parentheses. By the way, you'll put a parentheses here, but you're looking at the second one. Okay. No, you don't have x to the second, so you need to get rid of that. And you go f1, f2 equals 0. So take those first powers away. So negative 3x could equal 0. Or 4x plus 1 could equal 0. So do your thing with the dot and the circle. In the first one, I don't have to add or subtract. I just go divide by negative 3. And if I take 0 divided by any number, is 0. And then the other one I need to minus the 1. 
Now that would be negative 1, so 4 dot x equals negative 1 divided by 4. Negative 1 divided by 4 is negative 0 0.25. So those are the two answers to this problem. Okay, number 4, how many answers? Well, there's a second power for the variable, so there's 2. What method? Okay. Again, we also have an x right there, not to the second, so it's set. By the way, yeah, I want you to put something here that I will have on the test. Fail. Okay, write that word down. So it's set boxes. But the problem is you're not set because you don't have the um you don't have the zero. So you set it yourself before you make your boxes. Okay, so x second, you just got the 5, okay, so you can cross that out. For x, you have a negative 4. And for non-x's, you have a 2, but it's on the wrong side. So I put a plus 2, and then I minus 2, and then we'll just put that up here, because that's the only one I have, so it's negative 2, okay? All right, now I see there's three terms, so it's GCF table. Okay, GCF, negative x, GCF. You don't need the negative because the 5 is positive. You, don't, you also have x second, x1, no x, so get that. 5, 4, and 2. Remember, you can't punch in negatives, just punch in the numbers, the, whole, the positives. So you got 1. So if all I have is 1, we don't do it. Now the table I put fail, okay? So if it's fail, we use our quadratic formula. So opposite of b, plus or minus the square root, b to the second, remember two parentheses in the beginning, minus 4ac divided by 2 and a. Okay. So a is going to be 5, b is negative 4, c is negative 2. A is 5, B is negative 4, C is negative 2. So for the opposite of my B, I need to switch the negative 4 to a plus 4. Okay. And then B, I go negative 4. Okay. And then 4, A is 5, C is negative 2. Now bottom, I got A, which is 5. Okay. So I know I got 4 plus minus and then 2 times 5 you got to take 2 times 5 which is 10 so that's your divider now I got to figure out that square root on my calculator so I go second and then the fourth key up because that's my square root two parentheses in the beginning negative 4 close one of the parentheses and then second powers right there subtract a 4 a 5, and a negative 2. Okay, I got 7.48, so cross out the square root and put 7.48. And now with these three numbers, I get my two answers. So I go 4 plus 7.48 equals, and then divide by the number on bottom. Just hit divided by 10. you got to hit equals first. 1.14, don't need the 8. And then I take my 4 and subtract 7.48 and hit equals and then divide by 10. Negative 0 0.34. Okay, next problem. 2x to the second minus 20 equals 78. So we have two answers. What's my method? I have x second, but I don't have any other x's. So this is x squared equals x equals. So in that method, you come over here, and you dot your x to the second and circle it. Then these two go together. This is my equals. They're on opposite sides, so, so I'm going to minus, okay? Or no. 
sorry, my bad. Cross that out, cross that out. These are on opposite sides. You're not going to minus, sorry, because there's a minus already there. So you're going to plus 20. Switch that to plus. On the A, B, C problems, you were minusing. You were minusing because that was always a plus. But now it's a minus. But this is a number you get rid of. That's 98. Now I have a 2 here, so I can't get rid of the 2. I need to divide by the 2. And 98 divided by 2 is 49. So x to the second equals 49. Put 49 right there. Okay, then to get it down to x, you square root. Square root your 49. That's 7. Now remember, you could be at 7 or negative 7 for the two answers. That is how you do x squared equals x. You're not going to minus because that's a minus already, so you plus 20. Okay, number 6, x to the power of 3 minus 2x to the power of 2 minus 4x plus 8 equals 0. So this one actually has three answers. And you got the x to the third, but you also got x second. You got x, so that's going to be back to the set boxes strategy. Okay, so we are set, okay, right there. This time, how many terms do I have? There's four, so grouping and dops. Okay, so my first box is pretty big for the grouping. And set up the parentheses, okay? Parentheses plus parentheses. And then the same thing with lines outside. And then finally, a big parentheses with a big line outside, and we put a smaller parentheses in there. Okay, and then the DOPS box we also got to go with, okay? With the plus, minus, and that comes from here, okay? That one right there. Okay, so negative x, g, oh, first off, you put the 1x to the third minus the 2x to the second. Then the negative 4x plus the 8. Remember, that 4 is negative. So negative x and GCF. Well, negative, I don't need it here, but I need it in this one because the first one's negative. Now for x's, these both have x's, so I take the smaller power, x second. These do not both have x's, so don't put x underneath there. Okay, then the GCF. 1 and 2 is going to be 1. Okay, how about 4 and 8? Okay. I got 4, so I need to factor out a 4. Now, whatever I have under the lines is what I put out here. 1x to the second from here, and negative 4 from here. And then 1 divided by 1 is 1, and on x I take 3 minus 2, that's 1. Then I take negative 2 divided by 1, which is negative 2. Then 2 minus 2 is 0. Okay, get that first power out there. I mean, I put it, but then I cross it out after I'm done dividing. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1. There's an x. And then I take positive 8 divided by negative 4. Negative 2. So again, look at your two parentheses. You have the same expression in each one. So you put 1x minus 2 out here, and that's your f1. And then I have 1x to the second and negative 4. Okay, now the dops. Is x to the second there? Yes, it is. Is the second number negative? Yes, it is. Okay, now are the numbers perfect? So I look at my table, and this little line of numbers here, well, 1's here, that's 1 and 1. And then the 4. Well, 4 is here. That's 2 times 2. You rewrite that as 2 times 2. Okay. And this other one, that's your F2. That's your F3. Take your F1 and just put it beside each of them. Okay. F1. And at the end, that equals 0. So you got 1x minus 2. 1x plus 2. And then 1x minus 2 again. So two of the answers are going to be the same. Okay, so I add 2. 
that's 2. Divide by 1, and I'm still at 2. So 2 minus 2. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. And divided by 1 keeps us at negative 2. And dot circle plus 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. Dividing by 1 keeps it at 2. So there's your three answers. Two of them are the same, and that's okay. Okay, number 7. Now I see parentheses. So when I see the parentheses, I go to this right here. Okay, now the question is if you're blocked or if you're not. Well, the power's here, so that means you're blocked. Okay. All right, so the first thing I do is rewrite the equation with h to the second. So I replace that with h to the second. Now it's going to need a 4 in front of it, and then I already got the second power here, and that equals 24. Then I get then h second equals h equals. Now after that's set up, I need to make my table, because that's not the end of the problem right there. Okay. Okay, now to find h second, you dot and circle. Now, 24 is really the only number I have outside the circle, so I don't need to get anything together. Okay, I go straight to my division, and 24 divided by 4 is 6. Okay. Now, to find what the h actually is equal, we find the square root of 6. So, second, fourth key up. That's 2.44. So here I could be at positive 2.44, and here I make it negative. Because any square root has the positive and the negative. Now you bring back your 1x minus 4. Okay. And then dot and circle, and you're good to go. So you plus 4. 2.44 plus 4 is 6.44. And then you can divide by 1 or you can just get rid of it. And that would be 6.44. Dividing by 1 keeps it at the same thing. Then I plus 4. I'm probably going to need a calculator here. So I take negative 2.44 plus 4, 1.56. And then dividing by 1 keeps it at the same thing. So that's 2.56. Okay. This takes you right through it. Rewrite the equation without the parentheses. h to the second. The second drops down. And then h second equals h. And then the thing can't go wrong. Okay, not blocked. You're not blocked here. There's no power, so you go to your rainbows. Put a 1. So you take 3 times 1x, which is 3x, then write your subtraction, and then you take 3 times 4. You don't leave that at 4. Okay. 12, and then that's gone. Now i got to remember to put the plus 2 equals 20. Now dot your x and circle it as a multiplier of 3. Now undo the plus and minus outside. you got two of them. So first you minus 2. And then I don't want to figure out what that equals because there's also a minus 12, so I plus 12. Okay, and then I take 20 minus 2 plus 12. I got 30. Okay. Then I divide by the 3. And that's my answer. So 30 divided by 3 equals 10. So x equals 10. You don't need to square root because it's not to the second power. Okay, this one here, I want you to put the word fail, and I will make sure I do that. Okay, a missile's launched from a height of 50 feet with a velocity of 400 feet per second. How long will it take the missile to land to the ground to a height of zero feet? So we're finding the seconds, okay? So again, feet and seconds. X is seconds, Y is feet, and then the feet per second rate is 400. Okay, now I know this missile goes up, but then it comes back down. So it starts at 50 feet, and it winds up at 0 feet. 
Okay, now I need a pretty big box. And then gravity. Remember, equals y. And then negative 16 takes the x squared, because that's your gravity coefficient, even though you don't see it in the problem. 400 feet per second. And then we have 50 feet to start with. And then zero feet takes the place of the y variable. And now I go into my problem solving process. Okay, It is set up. So how many answers do we have? We have two because we have x to the second. What method do I need to use? Well, I also have an x not to the second, so we have to go with the set boxes. Okay. Now you are set here, so you can make your boxes. You have three terms, GCF table. Remember, we did write fail, so that tells me something. Okay, remember the GCF steps. Negative, check whether you need that, whether you need to do X, and your GCF. Negative we need because the first number is negative. So I go negative, negative. Okay, X, I have X second, I have X first. 50 doesn't have X, so I don't need X. Then on my calculator, I go 16,450. I got 2. Okay, so I put a 2 with the negative. Parenthesize that. And then we just divide all these by negative 2. So that gives me positive 8x to the second. This takes me to negative 200x because we're dividing a positive by a negative, so that's negative. And that's another negative of 25. So I go A, B, C. But I don't do the table because it says fail. So we write fail, and I use my quadratic formula. Okay. Opposite of B, plus or minus D square root, B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Okay. So... So my A is 8, my B is negative 200, and my C is negative 25. Okay. So the opposite of B, I switch that to positive 200. B, B itself would be negative. Remember, two parentheses at the beginning. And then 4, and then A is 8, and C is negative 25. Okay. And then A itself is 8. So I got 200, I got the plus minus, 2 times 8 is 16. Okay, remember, we got 16. Then that square root goes into my calculator. Second, fourth key up, negative 200, close it, raise it to the power of 2, and then subtract 4, 8, and negative 25. And I got 201.99. Okay, and now I add and then hit equals and divide by 16. So 200 plus 201.99 divided by 16 is 25.12. Okay. And then I take my 200 and subtract 201.99 equals, divide by 16, negative 0 0.12. Now the 25.12 is the higher answer, so that's the one I roll with. Okay, last problem. A garden is 30 by 20 feet, as you can see here. A walkway needs to be built around the garden. Okay. After the walkway is built, the rectangular shape will have an area of 816 square feet. How wide should our border be? So we need to find what these X's actually are. So it's equal to area. Now remember how to find area of a rectangle. It's the length times the width. So I need to multiply my length by my width up here. So my length, I have two X's and a 30 because that border goes outside. And the width, we have 2x's and a 20. Then I need to multiply that. So I have 2x, and then I distribute. 
so there were two rainbows and we times it by 2x and by 20 that's done now I distribute the 30 to the same two things 2x and 20 this is called the foil method first outer inner last one 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 and nothing nothing one nothing two times two is four one plus one is two two times 20 is 40 and we just put the x to the one okay that's the only number at little exponent i see 30 times 2 is 60 x to the one then 30 times 20 is 600 okay so i arrange my terms i simplify it so x second i got four for x, remember that's x of first. 40 plus 60 is 100. And the constants, we have 600. So I have 4x to the second plus 100x plus 600 equals 816. Now I go into my equation solving. There's two answers. What method? Well, we got an x that isn't to the second power, so it's set boxes. I cannot put the X's together like that. You're not set though, so you set it up yourself. For X second, you got a four, that's on the set, and the equals is here. I want the four where it's at. X, I got 100, that belongs. Now, these two would go together, but they're on opposite sides, so we put a plus here. And then this is the one we minus, okay? Because you want, you need zero where that's at, and then you minus it from 600. When minusing, it's important we minus the right number, so negative 216. Okay, now I see there's three terms, so I know exactly what boxes to use. So GCF and my table. Negative x GCF. Now, in these problems, I don't need the negative because that 4 in front is always positive. We also don't need x because there's that 216 that doesn't have one. And then I see about 4, 100, and 216. You're not going to be able to do that in your head. Okay. I got 4. Okay. So GCF's 4. So I put a 4 here. Just a 4, though. So that now takes me to 1x to the second plus 25x minus um, 54. 216 divided by negative 216 divided by 4 is negative 54. So A, B, C. This one I'm not writing fail on. Okay. So I take 1 times negative 54. I got negative 54. So that is a minus trying to get to 25, which has a plus sign on it. 1 and 54, nope. 2 and 27, sure. 27 minus 2 is 25. So that would be a plus 27. And then the negative up there means the signs have to be the opposite. Okay, now my A is 1x to the second. It is not 4, it's 1, okay? So when I make these parentheses, I go 1x minus 2 and 1x plus 27. And then the GCF is just going to be 1 out of these because 1, so that would stay 1x minus 2. And the same thing here. Keeps it the same. Now, I did put something up in the GCF outside of 4, which I'll, I'll put down here. But since there's no X in that parentheses, the F won't, I don't put an F label on it. Because I only need two answers. Okay? The equation does not have 3. So 1X minus 2 could equal 0. 1X plus 27 equals 0. And then I dot my X's. And I plus 2. That's 2. Remember, dividing by 1, we'll just keep it at 2, so that's my answer. 2 minus 27, that's negative 27. Dividing by 1 keeps me at negative 27.
any other number but one, it changes, but the one is kind of identity. So you got two feet. Two. 